For the past year, an empty shop known as Miller's has been the venue for a series of popular charity sales. The shop's currently leased by the Glendale Gateway Trust, who take 10% of the takings from the charities, mainly local churches, to help pay for it. It's been a success, largely because it's in the middle of Wooler's busy high street. People just see it and pop in. I mean, if we were tucked away somewhere else, they, even though we advertised it, it, people just wouldn't come in so spontaneously. It's absolutely valuable because we can then do up a window, say the day before, and people see everything, you know, it's of interest. They're looking at every item you've got in the window and it's virtually sold before you open the shop. And it's worked for those buying the goods, very often large pieces of furniture, and for the charities themselves. Well, when you start to use the figures of, of over £30,000 raised in, in just, just under 12 months, actually, um, we start to realise that some of those groups who come from throughout Glendale would not get that opportunity to be able to create that kind of income if they were to have a tabletop sale, for example, in their own church. So the fact that this is on a busy high street in a market town means that they're going to gain far larger funds than they would be able to otherwise raise. The 16 sales so far this year have benefited a variety of groups, including the youth drop-in centre and most of the local churches, but it's also been good for the customers. I think over the last year over 30 odd thousand has been raised in the shop in the previous year, a complete year, over 40,000 and that's indicative of, of the need for a supply of second-hand goods in an area of, uh, of low wages. These sales have been going on in Wooler for the past seven years, but the Glendale Gateway Trust's lease is up this summer, so what then? We've been having discussions with a number of local organisations. The Trust itself said that we would have to eventually step away from the project. We would want to build the capacity of other organisations to deliver this, the charities co-op. Well, at the moment, um, we've got a, a collaborative group between local churches um, looking at the possibility of taking on the lease of, of this property. If it's available after July, uh, we've declared an interest in, in uh, securing a lease and, and running this not just for our own purposes, but running it for this community.